preserved. Uh, this building is actually a Detroit historical building, so a lot of the scaffolding has been kept the same, as well as uh, some of the stuff with the staircase and just generally kind of the interior in this area. But uh, let me take you over here and I can show you some of that. Uh, first, this is Katie. She is our Associate Director of Residential Life, and she's going to tell you a little bit about the first year residential experience or fire in this building. Great! Thanks, Erin. All right, hello everybody. I'm so excited to help welcome you into Chatsworth with Erin um, and tell you a little bit about our, about our fire program. So, as Erin said, that's the first year residential experience living with the community in mind. Um, first year students living in this building are going to get an exclusive opportunity um, to get the skills and get all set up here at Wayne State University, not just for their first year, but for beyond. So, it's going to be really awesome that you come and join us for this community. Um, so we're going to have all types of campus partners um, able to come, and they're going to have office hours actually in the building. So you don't even have to, I mean, really change out of your pajamas um, to get some academic success skills, um, work with financial aid or career services, um, all of those. So we're really excited to partner with those um, partners around campus. Um, secondly, um, we've never done this before, but not only are you going to get to live with other first year students, but there's a really great opportunity this year to take part in the first year seminar, learning with the brain in mind, with those that you live with. We have partnered with the, um, the Study Skills Academy to make sure that we have special sections just for our FIRE students. And that's gonna fulfill a main experience requirement for all first year students. So I think that that's pretty cool. Um, and I also wanted to talk to you about our living learning communities. Um, we have them in a couple different areas across campus. But some students living in FIRE, they're going to get all the benefits of FIRE, but you're also going to be able to join living learning communities. Um, I'm going to talk more about some of those specifically and how to apply when we get upstairs and talk in the lounge. But for now, I really want to introduce you to Taylor, the community director for Chatsburg, over here. Thank you, Katie. Hi, everyone. My name is Taylor. Like Katie said, I'm the new community director for Chatsburg. If you want to follow me, I will show you some of our community spaces. I call this room the secret society room. Although it's not a secret, we just like to hang out in here. Over the year, you'll find RA doing some programming in here. We also have some peer mentors, um, and then some of those campus partners that Katie mentioned for all of our living learning communities. It's just a nice place to fellowship and hang out with friends and uh, other people in the building. We're gonna keep going to the next community space. It's so stylish, I love it. I love it. <laughs>
And it's really great too, because we always have someone here 24 seven. But yeah, let me dive with you upstairs. So we have uh, two functional elevators in the building. But yeah, uh, all together, this community is so exciting. I spent four years at Wayne State University myself. I got my fine arts degree in graphic design. And you know, I just think that this is such a wonderful place for to really you know, meet other first year students and just gain access to a lot of different resources while you're spending time on uh, campus. Katie's gonna go a little bit more into some of the LLCs we have available here. And um, you know, overall, it's just such a cool building. So this is our lounge space. Uh, we have these on every floor, and uh, some of them are a bit more open like this for kind of you know socialization. Some of them have things like ping pong tables in them. Uh, Katie will go a little bit more into that, and some of the other things we have to offer in this building. Yeah, great. So I'm glad you enjoyed your elevator ride. Um, we are mm -hmm. on the ninth floor. Erin mentioned that you know this is an open lounge for you know social activities. Um, and this, I mean, really, I cannot say enough, like, how well, um, intentionally, like, we designed this building. And so we have the, um, like, there's TVs in the lounges, you can hang out, um, and they have capabilities, you can hook up your Roku, have a movie night. Um, really, like, endless memories have yet to be made in this room. Um, some of the other lounges, they have doors on them so that we can make them a little bit quieter for studying. Um, and so really it's all about how, how much fun and social like opportunities you're having as well as opportunities to study right in your home. So um, you'll have to trust me a little bit because we are on a live event, but if you want to come a little bit closer, we can talk about some of the other buildings. Um, so here in our kind of residential campus, we have a Fari Hall um, here on the left, which talks, or maybe you're right, who knows, but there's Gafari, and uh, also we'll um, house first year students. We also have Golden Greens, which is one of our eateries, so students can use their meal plan there. Um, way across the way, um, almost kind of like part of the skyline now, um, is Anthony Wayne Drive Apartments. Um, and these are fully furnished um, apartments. They have full size beds, which, you know, who doesn't Huge love a full perk. size bed? <laughs> um, and then we have Towers Residential Suites, which is also a suite style area. Um, it's a little bit different because, you know, here at Chatsworth Suite Style, it's all about first year students. Um, in Towers, we have some opportunities for um, some older students to live there as well. Um, and then, what else? I mean, really, there's so much. Yeah. So we have um, the Student Center. Really, like, being in Chatsworth, you're going to have walkability to so many areas. Um, it's truly amazing. And mm -hmm. so, um, the last thing I wanted to talk about was living learning communities. I did promise that I would talk a little bit about them. Um, and so these are our, um, our special communities with different interest areas. Here at Chatsworth, we are um, going to be hosting the global living learning community, the sustainability living learning community, healthy living, a warrior VIP, and of course the warrior business. And so if you're interested in, of course, being part of the first year residential experience here in Chatsworth, but you have a secondary interest in one of those communities, you can apply um, online in your housing app. So it's really easy to sign up for any of those. Um, and of course, that's on housing.wing.edu. Great. All right. So what's next? So we are going to check out one of our four-person suites, and then I will take you down the hall and show you our kitchen space, and then one of our six-person suites as well. Perfect. Yeah. But as Katie said, it's just really great. Um, I think that this building not only you know kind of exemplifies access to resources in terms of what's inside the building, but you really are in the middle of everything. Yes. I know that like my first year, I would have loved to live here. You just kind of have it all at your fingertips. It's great. Yes, perfect. Oh, um, so also on the floors, we're in the hallway. I thought of it. Um, we also have resident advisors that live um, on every floor here to support you. We also have peer mentors, and I think you met downstairs our desk assistant mm -hmm. area. Um, but Erin, you are a resident advisor I or RA. Yeah, yeah, how did you like that? I, it was great, and what's really awesome about having an RA on each and every floor, it just means that uh, as a resident, you have someone you know on your team at all times. So your RA is your person who helps you out with pretty much everything, be it academic things, your personal life, or just, you know, if you need a friend to talk to. 
Um, all around the RAs are kind of uh, responsible for helping out residents individually, but uh, in the evenings we also have a RA who is on call to deal with any mm -hmm. issues in the building, which is just really great. It's added security in addition to the 24-7 uh, desk. Yay! Yeah. All right, let's see that room. I'm sure that that's why people really want to see is the room. All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is our four-person space. And if you want, we can quickly peek over here. We have a separate space for the shower, which just makes those busy mornings that much more convenient. You know, just to kind of have it separate from everything. So we have shower over there, communal space here, and uh, just to clarify, none of the spaces in this building does have kitchens. They are uh, residential suites, but uh, we do you know, have a sink that's separate from the bathroom and everything, which is really nice. Uh, over here, we have one of our rooms. Let me turn the lights on, actually, so you guys can get a bit of a better view. I know we are in live. Uh, this is just one of the sample bedrooms. Uh, it's pretty much identical to the one on the other side of the suite. Uh, every resident guy, you know, kind of the space over here. As you can see on the other side, we have another bedroom over there. And then on the way out, you can see that we have our bathroom. But yeah, uh, as I mentioned coming in, it's just really nice that things are separated out like this, especially when you have you know four or six people in a room. It makes things so easy. Oh yeah, couldn't agree more. All right. Okay. All righty. So, um, next we want to take time to talk a little bit about the kitchen. Um, of course, these are new, so that's you know new everything. So nice. Backsplash. Parents know what I'm talking about. Am I right? Um, so come on in. Um, and so it is a little echoey because it's so new. Um, and um, what I want to highlight in here is we do have community microwaves and stoves giant fridges and sinks. Um, so these are really great areas for students to, you know, conduct daily business, do what they need to do, wash dishes. I mean, that was hard for me in college, but you all are gonna crush it with these community kitchens. Um, so first year students um, and individuals living here, um, they do have to have a meal plan, so you will still have that when you're living in Chatsworth. Um, but these are still really great spaces to use and take advantage of while you're living here in Chatsworth. Yeah, it's a really nice resource. And as Katie said, everything is brand new, so it's all yeah. together just a really great space. There's pretty good storage in here too, if you need to like bring in pots and pans, utensils, or whatever as well. Yeah, perfect. So we're gonna go and see one of our six-person suites, um, and these are always exciting because there's just um, you know what do they say? So much room for activities. Um, I think that these people still say that, Erin. Maybe. I think so. <laughs> okay, I think that that's probably a no. <laughs> But yeah, no, they're really great. They're uh, super spacious, so it doesn't even feel like you are living with the full six people in the room. You guys will get to see. Perfect. So these are actually uh, pretty similar proportionally in terms of the accommodations that are offered in the four-person rooms. They are just so much bigger. So as we uh, go down the hallway here, uh, we don't need to go all the way down, but these are actually all showers and bathrooms that are available for the residents to use in this building. So never will you be competing in the morning to uh, use any of those. Um, it's just really nice because it's all just kind of, you know, in one place right here. Uh, and then if we want, we can actually go through here and take a look at the living space. So. All this furniture is provided. Um, I don't know if I touched on it earlier, but these units are furnished. So we have, you know, the uh, couch, sofa, armchair, and again, um, all the bedrooms in here as well. So I'll just quickly show you one of them in here, though it is uh, pretty similar. So again, we have our twin XL beds, we have closet space, and a desk for each of the residents. Uh, I should mention too, they also get uh, drawers, which is really nice. But yeah. Um, Overall, it's just really spacious and accommodating for uh, the residents who will be in this space. Plus the view too. You can't quite see it right now, uh, both because we're on live and because of the blinds, but it's really, really nice. But yeah, uh, that's about it for uh, these residential suites. If there's anything I need to touch on, you know, by all means, let me know. But yeah, 
Perfect. All right. So, Taylor? That's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour in our newly renovated Chatsworth Tower Apartments, and we can't wait to help you move in this fall. Yeah, and so if uh, you really love this tour and you want to see more of us, because why wouldn't you? Nice. Um, we're having a open house this Saturday. Um, it's going to be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. right here on campus. Um, you can find more information on our website. It's going to be at housing.wayne.edu. Um, so sign up there. Sign up. Join. Just come. It's come. open house. Just come. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and we'll see you there. And we're going to also be showing our other areas. So if mm -hmm. you yes. love this but you want to see more, please come on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye, we'll see you guys in the fall. <laughs>